Hi guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a very chatty everyday spring makeup routine and then it's gonna kind of merge into a bit of a vlog. As you might be able to tell, I'm filming this on my vlogging camera, so very, very chilled setup. I thought it had been a while since I'd done an everyday makeup routine since I didn't do one as promised during my spring edits. I wasn't feeling too good and I have switched up my makeup quite a lot recently as we finally move into springtime. So that's what's gonna be going on today. Um, first of all, I've already prepped my skin. I've used the Herbivore Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisture Cran. And this is a brand that is fairly new to the UK. It's available in Space NK. Went to their press day a couple of weeks ago, met the founders and just loved everything that the brand stood for. This is a favorite product of mine. It's really lightweight, smells good, it's very natural and yeah preps my skin absolutely perfectly. So that is what is on my skin right now. Most of my makeup at the moment is in this bag because we are traveling quite a lot at the moment so I tend to just chuck everything that I'm using regularly in here. And by the way, I've not even kind of planned what I'm going to show you. This is just gonna be whatever I find, pop it on my face. So um, I've been using the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops quite a lot just to keep my skin on my face quite brown because otherwise my body goes brown and my face doesn't. So that's that's been being used a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a pair of sunglasses to keep my hair back as a bit of a temporary temporary headband and then I'm going to start with oh and by the way quick face update so I have tinted my own eyebrows using the Eyelure dye brow kit and I also have individual lash, lash extensions from a place called Lash Perfect in Soho and I really like how they look it just means that I can be a little bit more makeup free on holiday I'm going to use the Bourjois Anti-Fatigue Healthy Mix Foundation to start with. This is a really nice one for this time of year. It just keeps the skin looking really fresh and it is anti-fatigue. It's got a vitamin complex in there um, and I find it blends out really easily, lasts a long time. And the color that I have is a really good shade match. It is number 54 and I do kind of mix this with other things as I get more brown. But at the moment, this is absolutely perfect and I'm applying it with my It Cosmetics brush. Just move the camera up a bit, hopefully that makes a bit more sense and if I'm looking up that's because I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror for today and then also the big mirror behind where you guys are. I'm going to use my trusty handheld mirror to be a little bit more precise. I get a lot of questions about this mirror when you guys see it. I will leave it linked down below along with everything that I'm using in this video but it is Paul and Joe and I got it from ASOS. Dicky. Okay. Next is concealer and I've also just realized you can see my <laughs> mess in the mirror reflection. That's because today is actually a big packing and unpacking day so um, a lot of stuff is going on down here. I thought it was out of view but you can definitely see little glimpses of it <laughs> so forgive me for my mess. Next I'm doing concealer and this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer and it does what it says on the tin. It flawlessly fuses with your skin and the rest of your makeup lasts a really long time, doesn't crease, basically everything that I like in a concealer. So I just dab that on with the doe foot applicator and then I'm gonna blend it in with my fingers. With my under eye concealer, I use a shade, two or three shades lighter than my skin and oh my gosh, I totally forgot to show you my new favorite step in my skincare routine. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I will tell you when I have blended my concealer, how much I am now in love with jade rolling. So I'm just finishing blending the concealer in with a beauty blender um, and I just find that this helps with the fusion of the concealer on my skin. So great, happy with that. Now, so I also got this at the Herbivore press event and it is a jade roller. So it's got a larger crystal, do you call them crystal? Stone on one side and then the smaller one on the other side. Now I've been doing this for about 10 days and already it's my favorite part of my morning skincare routine. Some people say that you can leave them in the fridge. Personally, our house is not that warm and I don't find that it needs to go in the fridge. The stone itself is quite cooling. Um, and I really wish I'd shown you this before doing my foundation. But basically what I do to de-puff the skin in the morning is just roll, I spend about two minutes, it's quite a mindful thing to do, just let your thoughts go elsewhere while you roll the skin. And I do maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. 
three, much slower, and then just keep going around my face in an upwards motion with a larger roller. It helps with lymphatic drainage, so the skin is a lot more supple, more elastic, helps to keep everything moving, helps with collagen production, but the thing that I find it the best for is under eye puffiness. When I wake up in the morning, um, if you go to my vlog a couple of weeks ago, I literally look like a meerkat in the mornings because my eyes are so puffy, but what I have been finding recently using the smaller side, just very carefully, not only is it cooling, but also just helps everything move around with the smaller side of the jade roller. Um, just makes so much difference with my face puffiness in the morning. It has a stronger effect than coffee for making me look awake, that is for sure. Now I have a little bit of foundation on it. And also, if you're into your ancient Chinese medicine, jade is a stone or a crystal that helps to ward off bad spirits and negative energy. So, all round an amazing thing to do, and despite its kind of heaviness, this is definitely coming with me in my travel makeup bag so yeah you've probably seen me rambling about it on instagram stories but i had to mention that in today's video at this stage i always like to put some balm on the lips i find that foundation can kind of dry out my lips a little bit and i use the clinique pep start pout perfecting balm because i feel like this is the best one for preparing my lips for lipstick later on and then I'm going to powder my skin, and I don't like a really matte look, I like to always be quite glowy. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, I have the shade 3. I've got a few different powders that I like, I love the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, um, and I love the La Mer powder, I love the Laura Mercier Loose powder, but this is the one that is in my travel makeup bag, so it's the one I've been using the most recently. And as you can see, it's not getting rid of the glow at all, but because it's a powder, it just helps my um, base to last a lot longer, look good for longer, and still have a nice luminous complexion which is what I love during the springtime. I make sure to focus on the areas where my makeup does tend to run away, so on the chin, under the eyes, and then also between my eyebrows. <laughs> I tend to get quite shiny. Then I'm going to use some bronzer. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Light Bronzer for a sun-kissed sun healthy glow. And again, perfect for traveling because it is so slim. This is an absolutely beautiful bronzer. Look at that packaging and that product presentation. It's got a bit of pink in there as well, so I think it's just a really lovely natural colour. Current favourite favorite bronzing brush is the Bare Minerals Seamless Shape and Finish Brush. So as always, I start on the cheekbones, which is um, to hopefully give myself a little bit of contour and definition, and then I go around the edges of my hairline and just the rest of my face where the sun would naturally bronze my skin a little. The pink sections in the blush also give a tiny bit of a shimmer as well, so it does act again to keep the skin looking nice and glowy. So as I said, I have had my brows shaped um, quite recently and DIY tinted, so this is going to be a very quick brow routine. I'm using a brush with a spoolie just to brush them into place so I can see more clearly what I'm working with. Then I'm taking my Dior... Um, brow pencil in the shade 001 because this is the lightest one and I don't want anything too dark in my already very dark for my hair colour brows. I may have left the dye on a little bit too long and this one I really like because it's like a little pencil so you can be really precise. I don't like my brows to be too defined, she says with the world's darkest eyebrows, so I just kind of add to any little gaps and make the tail of my brows a bit longer because they do tend to fizzle out towards the ends. Then I'm just using the Arch Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel from Hourglass and this will help to kind of set them in place and add a little more volume as well because this does actually have brow fibres in there. My brows um, are a little bit sparse so that extra volume is very much appreciated. Alright, so I'm going to do my eyeshadow next, and I have a few products that I've been using a lot uh, while travelling. These are all super easy, I call them stilos. First of all, this one from Laura Mercier, which is a copper shade. I'll show you a little close-up there. Um, and I find that these are just so nice for wearing on the beach, you can just kind of one slick blend it in and you're done. This one is a little bit more almost grey in colour, it is from... Dior and this one is especially great for holidays because it's actually waterproof So this one is going to be particularly good on our next trip Which is to the Maldives and then in the evenings this one from the poppy Sauvage range from Estee Lauder 
with in collaboration with Violette. It's a little bit darker. I use this one in the evenings and then also just underneath my or around my lash line because it's a really good way of defining the eyes if you don't really like eyeliner, which I don't. But for today, I'm going to be using my new Exaggerize palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a new launch and it is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Look at those colours. I just think they are the most perfect colours for people like me that don't like to go too crazy, like a natural look, but a really lovely soft look. I'm going to start with the matte shade, this one in the bottom corner. It's just a very, very wearable, almost mushroomy brown colour. Quite warm as well, so good for spring. And I'm going to pop that all over the lid. Taking a different brush just to totally blend that out and keep it looking really natural. And then back with my smaller brush, I'm going with this really light shimmering brown shade and I'm just going to put that on the lid itself, no higher than the lid. And that just adds a really lovely eye-catching shimmer, but it's not too in your face, so it still re works really nicely for an everyday look. <coughs> literally the world's easiest eye makeup. So because of my lash extensions, I'm not wearing mascara at the moment, but when I do need to wear mascara, I have this Dior, um, this is the Dior Show Pump and Volume Waterproof Mascara because of our travels, obviously waterproof mascara isn't essential and the Dior Show is just great for separating and volumizing the lashes. You've got a great stiff bristled brush there, so really nice for separating the lashes. Moving back to the complexion and keeping with the spring glowy theme, I'm using the Benefit Gold Rush Blusher. This one has got a little bit of gold in there, so it's a nice kind of highlighting blush. I really don't know why they bother putting a mirror in the lid because <laughs> you cannot see anything out of that. Um, but I just absolutely love the colour of this, find it really fresh for spring and once again a little bit of highlight in there as well. Okay, so next I'm just going to use a face wipe to get rid of the lip balm and all the foundation on my lips. <laughs> so lip-wise, again, on my travels I've been using a few different products. The Dior Addict Lip Tattoo Long Wear Coloured Tint has been a real favourite, especially on the beach, because it is a tint, so you just pop it on, beautiful coral colour lasts all day. And then this is the Sugar Punch Tinted Lip Treatment SPF 15. So for obvious reasons, that is amazing while on the go. But as I'm not on the go at the moment, I'm going to do something a bit different. I say different from my holiday routine, not different for me. I'm going to start off by lining the lips with the Bourjois Funky Brown Contour Edition Lip Liner. It looks like this. Lovely natural brown shade. So you can see that's just helped to define my lips and this is really affordable and the perfect colour. I prefer it to lots of my high-end lip liners. And then I'm going to delve into my handbag makeup bag to choose my lipstick because this is where the lipsticks that I wear on a daily basis usually end up. Um, of course, still my favourite is my Tom Ford Sable Smoke or is it Warm Sable? Warm Sable, this gorgeous, dreamy brownie nude shade which is my usual go-to. But I think I'm going to try something a bit more bit more balmy. Actually, keeping it high street, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Colory Shine in 642. This is what the packaging looks like. And then it is basically a dupe of the Guerlain um, by Terry and Chantecaille lip balms, which I am obsessed with. This is an amazing high street alternative. So I'm going to apply this. Amazing colour, such a lovely kind of natural pink and it's really comfortable because it is so balmy, it looks as though you've got kind of a gloss on as well. Big, big fan of that. So that's going straight back in my handbag makeup bag. And I'm going to finish with a mist. This is the Eve Lom Radiance Face Mist. Energizing high powered moisture mist with hydration boosting actives and antioxidants protects skin from atmospheric exposure and gives a healthy looking complexion. I absolutely love this and find it super refreshing. Probably far more than you need, but I just absolutely love it. So that's my everyday spring makeup look. I just realized the birds have been tweeting away in the background this whole time. How lovely, how seasonal. I'm gonna do a little bit of packing now and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Okay, so this is the current state of my bedroom. Um, that's where I was just sitting, but now it is a pile of clothes to either be packed or to film with because actually it's fairly bright outside. So I think I'm gonna quickly film my uh, what's new in my wardrobe because then I can just point you guys in the direction of this video if you want to know where the things are from that I'm wearing on our holidays. So I'm gonna do that now. 
I've also just been to Doddle and picked up an ASOS order. So I thought I would show you what I have got from here. Most of it's holiday stuff. So let's have a little look inside. Can I do it one handed? Yes is the answer. Oh yeah, I forgot I ordered a neck pillow um, because I always find it a bit gross that I have just like a really old one at the moment but it's covered in makeup whereas this one, I think it's from Bando, has a little uh, zippy cover so I can actually take the cover off and wash it between holidays and this trip this first flight that we're going on is actually a day flight, but I do still fall asleep on most flights and it is 10 hours, so that's wonderful. What else have we got? Um, ooh, snacks. Simple accessory. Oh, I thought it was snacks. Is it Eat Nature? Who knows? I've got a hat, which actually I think it looked a bit better on the website but it's quite like rough around the edges, bit of a raw hemmed hat. I do have under that pile um, a couple of other hats, so maybe I'll see which one I prefer, but I do like the color of this one. Let me know down below what you guys think. Then I've got, oh, this is amazing. So this is a bikini from New Look, but I thought it looked so much like that Instagram brand, La Ravesh, that is also on Netta Porter. I actually was very kindly sent one of the La Ravesh ones, so if I've posted about it yet, I'll put a picture on the screen, um, if not I'll just do an Instagram photo from their account. But yeah, the Laravesh ones I think are around £200, which is bonkers, and this is New Look, so probably more like £10, so definitely going to take that to the next trip with me. Couldn't go on holiday without a straw bag, um, so grabbed this one, I think the brand is Miss Selfridge? Oh no, this one is South Beach, but I thought it was a really good size. It's very basic, but it's exactly what you need for a beach holiday. Okay, so these are the bottoms of the bikini top I showed you earlier. They've got the little floral details on the side, and then a very skinny band, which is nice, because it means you'll get a very nice tan line, or lack of. The bottom is so big, though, I prefer like little skinny, almost thong-like, and I don't know why everyone insists on putting so much fabric everywhere, but yeah, that'll be beautiful. Then I have this pair of jeans, they're ASOS own brand. They've got lace at the bottom, oops, clothing avalanche, which I think could look really, really cool. In fact, I'm going to give these a try on in a second, so I'll show you how they look, but I really like the wash. They're very kind of relaxed, relaxed style, so I'll give those a try in a sec. Then I have this jumpsuit. I think it's from a brand called Moon River, I think. Um... No, it's Warehouse. Maybe I didn't get anything from Moon River, but yep, again, I thought that'd be a really nice beachy outfit, the kind of thing you can just fling on, super easy peasy. It's a full-on dress, I don't know if it was a dress or a jumpsuit, and then it's got little pom-poms, and I love pom-pom details, love off-the-shoulder details, so that's a big tick. And then this last thing, sorry, such a mess, is a dress from For Love and Lemons, and it's a brand that I've wanted to try out for a long time. It's not that accessible here in the UK, this was one of the only things that I could find um, on ASOS, but I've heard really good things about the brand, followed them on Instagram for quite a while. So it's a dress, and it is this sheer overlay with the floral um, embroidery on it, and then it came with a little slip underneath. Now I must say, this was very expensive, I think it was, I think it was well over £100, if not like approaching 200 and it doesn't appear to be like the highest of quality but then again I guess it's got lots of embroidery made in China this probably cost them about three pounds to make but yeah we'll see I'm gonna do a little bit of um a little bit of research see how good this looks that's my ASOS haul by the way, it is about two hours since I filmed the makeup clip. As you can see, my skin is already starting to like glow through. Maybe I need a top up of the powder on my, um, between the brows. That's the area that tends to get a little bit uh, shiny. But the rest of the makeup is looking really, really good. I actually brushed my teeth because I had a big coffee after filming the makeup. So I did my makeup, had another coffee and then brushed my teeth. So I took off the lipstick that I had on before and um, I'm gonna film a video in a second. So I'm gonna put on a matte lipstick and before I do matte lipsticks, I like to try and prepare my lips as much as possible. So I've slathered on the Super Skin Lip Balm from Liz Earl, this one here. And if you saw my, I think it was actually my cold weather beauty essentials video from quite a while ago, then I included it in that, and it is my favourite, um, like, really nourishing lip balm. 
So now, while it's still fairly bright outside, I think I'm going to film the what's new in my wardrobe video. So stay tuned, I'll be back with you in half an hour, she says optimistically, after filming. I must apologise for all of this mess, but I'm going to put on um, this lovely... Bobby Brown lipstick. Um, love the packaging of this. It's just in this gorgeous gold tube. And then this lipstick, I feel, is perfect for spring. Absolutely beautiful. I've only used it a couple of times so far, so let's just pop some of this on. That is literally my perfect, like, pretty pink shade. And it's still nice and balmy. I said I was going to go for a matte lipstick, but that is perfect. And I'm going to mattify my skin. Do you know what? I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try the Givenchy Prism Libre. It is the most beautifully packaged product. Look at this packaging. It's got like a leather, black leather lid and this gorgeous floral design. Not tried it yet, um, so I'm going to put some of that on my T-zone. So it comes out in these four different colours, which are good for colour correcting, or I'm just going to blend them all into one. Um, and then you get this little powder puff, which actually I'm not going to use, I'm going to use this brush. And I've just popped some of the powder in the lid. These are my notes, by the way, I like to make notes on videos that I'm about to film. So this is my notes for the video you will have seen on Sunday, last week. How to make high street look high end. Anyway, I digress, so tap off the excess. And then apply to areas of shine, of which I have many. I'm pleased to say it's not caking up or making my skin look really matte and chalky. It seems to still show the glow. Thumbs up from me <laughs> and Dickie. So we've just taken a bit of a road trip to Charlie's mum and dad's house for our Sunday lunch and now we're just going to go and visit some friends who live nearby. I will catch up with you a bit later and show you my pre-holiday beauty routine, my pampering evening pre -flight routine. Pre-flight pampering. Pre-flight pamper routine. You've got sheet masks have you? Oh, have you got sheet masks? I think I've got um, those Glam Glow ones which I quite like, which are like oxygenating mm. cleansing ones. That sounds good. Very good. Very um, nice. And what else will we be doing? Well, I'm going to be fake tanning. <laughs> I don't know about I'm you. I'm going to exfoliate the hell out mm. of my body. Sounds good. So I'll see you later. Okay, so sorry for the slightly scary appearance. I've just got out of the shower. I'm covered in fake tan on my body. I'm wearing Charlie's mum's pyjamas because they are nice and long sleeve, long legged. Uh, so I'm not going to be getting any fake tan on the sheets. And then I have put the Origins Gloconuts mask, the Madeleine Shaw Coconut Face Mask, on. And it's a lovely hydrating mask, so I'm just going to leave this to absorb overnight. I look totally ridiculous. And Charlie and I are just watching some Box. parks and recreation in bed. Alarm is set for 6am, so not too early. So I'm going to round up the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of random makeup and getting ready to go on a holiday vlog. And the next time you see me will be in Mexico. See you soon. Bye. I've been watching you from a distance as I turn out all the lights. All I want from you is to listen and remember the good times. If you think I'm